Today I will be doing a short tutorial on how to find your log file for Farming Simulator 2015 and what just a few basic errors look like. So to start I'm using Windows 7. With Windows 8 it may be a little bit different but you'll go down to your start menu, find your My Documents, and in the My Documents you want to find the My Games folder, your Farming Simulator 2015 folder, and inside this folder you'll look through your files until you find your log file. And now you can either open up the log by double clicking it or you can go right click, edit with Notepad++, and with it open in Notepad++ you can see that it tells you basic system information about your system and what your settings are for the game and what version. And as you scroll down you can see right here that this is my first log error and it is for the John Deere 70, 7290R from AGO and it says unsupported mod description and what this is is this is a 2013 mod that I put in my folder to give this intentional error. So this would be something that you would look at if you put a mod in and it wouldn't load this would be where you would start if you see this line that means the mod description is wrong and it needs to be converted and as you scroll down you'll see that we start getting in to where the errors are and I purchased the Grizzly ATV which is a work in progress mod and there are a lot of problems in the i3d that are trying to be worked out and so since the numbers aren't matching up with the XML and the i3D it gives lots of call stacks for the LUA because it's not trying to load the right no, it's not trying to load right so this is what you would see for some basic errors you'd see your error index out of range and when you're getting errors like this it'll cause the game to slow down quite a bit and can cause crashing which that's what this mod does right now is cause the game to crash as soon as it's loaded. It does work but not very well. And as you can see it just goes on until I exit it out of the game. So I hope this helped you to find your log file and to see what just an error would look like for a wrong mod description or if you have something wrong in your i3d or just give you an idea on what you would be wanting to look for in your log for an error message.